the rolling yet because I'm oh I'm so sick of how late we start <laughs> every time with you guys. It's like you guys don't. Oh, I hate you. I hate the both of you. I hate everyone out there. No one. Oh, no one's ever gonna know. No one's ever gonna know. It's fine. Uh, all right. Jeez. Okay. You got this. I guess we're gonna do it again. Here yeah. we go. Happy face, happy face. Three, two, one. Hey, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the GigaHub Weekly Show, right. where we talk about things that matter to us but may not matter to you. I am host one of three, Luis Stellatore. Host uh. two of three, Dai Kaiju Tony, as you can see, is still suffering the ill effects of watching the movie we're going to review. Oh, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. The celestial people can't hurt you anymore. <laughs> And of course, <laughs> wow! Of course, <laughs> me of three, Adam Cren. Three of three, Adam Cren. Before we go into our review, uh, we're just going to talk real quick about our sponsor, Cosmic Comics, the jewel of the Mojave Desert. We have everything that your nerdy heart could ever desire, including but not limited to pops figures. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> we also have like comics and shirts and stuff. Uh, no, we have a wide variety of things. Uh, please come on down, talk to our knowledgeable staff. They'll help you find whatever you're looking for. And if not, you can always order it here or online. we ship now online. Go to Cosmic Comic, CosmicComics.Vegas. Correct. And you'll be able to order things from there. Right. Uh, so you don't Click even the have shop to now leave. Link. Yeah. There's a lot, of, a lot of cases are coming up. So you don't have to do anything except stay home and order stuff. That's right. It's the, right. of, your comics. it's the beauty of the modern age. You don't have to go anywhere. Anyway, Cosmic Comics. So I'm going to go get the defibrillator. Okay. So we all uh, watched The on. Eternals. Uh, all right, Clearly, uh, Tony did not have the uh, reaction that we did. <laughs> wow. Anthony, Godzilla is just a big, useless dinosaur. <laughs> Camera sucks. Uh, Hey, hey, Japanese just, Spider-Man is the literal worst. Yeah, I just did a Gamera live stream recently, so oh, shut up. Okay. I, I, yeah. I love Gamera. What am I talking about? <laughs> All right. So, the Eternals. The Eternals. Now, we're kind of, we're a little bit late to the Eternals party, yeah. mostly because I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't going to pay money for a movie I wasn't sure of. Yeah. You know um, what I had for dinner yesterday? What? Baked ziti. It was delicious. Baked what? Ziti. Ziti. Okay. You ever had baked ziti? What's a ziti? <laughs> <laughs> It's a type, it's a of, type noodle. of noodle, dude. It's like the 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 long noodles, right? No, like the, the big the... fat round ones. Yeah, they they almost look like giant macaronis, except they're oh, not, okay, except the... they're not curved; they're just straight. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's good. Big. You ever had big ziti? Big zini. Ziti. <laughs> oh, it's foreign. Wow. Big it's ziti. foreign. Not yeah. everyone's had big ziti. All the way dude. From, Don't worry about it. All the way from Italy. Just you know, in Scotland, where he's from. <laughs> ziti and haggis. Mm. Ziti okay. is a good combination. With iron brew soda. I know what oh, haggis oh, is because of Highlander. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But if you had haggis. So, Me let's either. talk about the Eternals. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He did have that accent. That's my best, <laughs> Jon Snow. Uh, I know nothing. He, t- he said that, right? Out loud? It doesn't matter. I can't <laughs> um, remember. My mind wow. has been violated by Eternals in one way or another. Since but clearly, I was the only one that liked the movie. I, you know what? We're going to talk about it. I didn't <laughs> dislike the movie, but I can't say that I liked it. I, yeah. um, but we'll talk about it in a second. We are talking about The Eternals, uh, which uh, just got put on. Uh, <laughs> wow. Geez. Tony really didn't yeah, like Tony, The Eternals. Wake wow. up, my friend. What's going on over here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so where do we begin? Oh, <laughs> let's start. You know what the best place is at the beginning. Let's start at the beginning. Uh, <laughs> Seven thousand years ago. So a bunch. Of, so let's start. Yeah. Um, yeah so Eternals uh, was released not too long ago on Disney Plus. For right. well, your... it started streaming just this weekend on Disney Plus. Right. Yep. But it was actually in theaters. Or it was in theaters before. Or before that, yeah. Which yes. we did. I didn't go see it in theaters. I saw I it in theaters. Either. But once it hit Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Once it hit Disney Plus, uh, it's so much easier to get on it than to go yeah. to the movie theater and watch a movie. I'm not really sure about. Correct. I'll probably do the same for the new Spider-Man movie. We'll Whoa. see. Whoa! Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're awake now, huh? Uh, okay. So the Eternals. Let's start. The Eternals, of course, is they are uh, Marvel comic book characters, of course, Jack created Kirby by the great Jack, Jack Kirby, Kirby, right? Yeah. Um, from the late '70s, '78, '79, I believe. Yeah. Yep. Um, yes, Jack Kirby did create them. However, this movie clearly does not follow the original Jack Kirby run. It follows a later run. Um, is it the the Neil Gaiman run? I'm not sure. To okay. be honest, I, you know, I mean, the thing is about 
a lot of Jack Kirby's solo work. Now, when I say this, understand that I am a fan. I really love the fourth world Watch stuff. Watch yourself. I know, I right? Watch I yourself. love OMAC, but his writing tends to be more high concept than good writing. If mm. that makes sense. There's a lot of thinking. Yeah, very yeah. very high concept, sometimes very difficult to get into. And Eternals is no different. It's like when you have a brilliant idea and you think, man, this is so good, so smart, and you tell people and they're just like, what? what? Yeah. yeah. What are you talking about? Like, no, because right. of like this? And they're just like, okay, I kind of understand now, but I think that's a lot of reaching. Right. Yeah. And truth be told, the original Eternals run didn't do that well, so. Obviously. Right. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, the Eternals is a Jack Kirby creation, right? Correct. About uh, was it seven of them? There's seven. Well, there's seven there's of a lot them. of them. So actually, six or seven of them. Yeah, but, but I mean, in, movie, in this particular movie, there's uh, there's seven what, like, or nine of them. There's not nine of them, dude. There's like Gilgamesh, Thena, what's her face, Sprite, what's her face? Druig. Want Sprite Cranberry? Yeah, I guess seven or eight. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> they're yeah. Anyway, so they're here. Uh, on our planet, where right. they've uh, been under the guise Apparently of helping, protecting it right. to and, develop. And helping develop humanity. Right. In certain ways. Only gentle nudges, not actually giving us the answers. Right. Which explains why they were not around when Thanos did his thing, they or were, they yeah. could not interfere. They were they were instructed not to interfere in human conflict. Right. Right. Right, so that, they can, so that we as a species could develop right. uh, as we are intended but, to. Right. What happened with Thanos wasn't a human conf- conflict at all, since Thanos is an alien. And yeah, I was thinking that as well. I'm yeah. like, this isn't a human conflict. This is this is an alien. Not to mention, an Eternal is also Thanos' brother. Yes, one okay. of the Eternals is Thanos' brother, who does show up at. at the, the you know very, what? The first Listen, end credits. If you haven't watched it yet, it's been out for a while, so we're gonna spoil the hell out of it. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. Yeah. Star Fox. Yes, yep. that Star Fox and who, Falco show up. Who that, <laughs> who that guy? <laughs> that guy looked. Do a barrel. Yeah, that guy looked like comic book Star Fox. Harry Styles looked like comic book Star Fox. That's Harry yeah, Styles. Yeah. One Direction. I, I have no idea who and, that is. Uh, but I remember when he showed up, I'm like, holy crap, he looks like, he looks Star, like Star Fox. Fox. Yeah. And, <laughs> he looks uh, just like Star Fox. Pip the Troll, right? Pip the Troll, who's Pip played the troll. by... Uh, I don't know who the hell they are. My uh, dad the does, comedian, but... Um, yeah, I recognize the voice. I just uh, didn't it's not Seth Rogen, isn't it? No, 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 no. It's... Uh, oh, my God. Why? Pat Oswalt. It's Pat Oswalt. That's right, yeah. They just altered it. They modulated his voice. Yeah, that's post-credits. That's post-credits, guys. We're not even talking about the We're jumping a little too far. So anyway, they are on our planet helping us to develop and protecting us from a uh, particular threat uh, deviant art under the <laughs> under the <laughs> under the guise of keeping us safe right uh, from and deviant then, art right from deviant art which i understand why no barrel roll <laughs> um, no barrel roll and then uh un- unfortunately it turns out that things are not as they seem of right. course done done dun, dun, dun. and we just kind of go from there we don't find that out until uh probably like what halfway towards the movie towards the end of the movie yeah you know in, Third act. in, in very yeah you know in very um oh, what was his name um <laughs> keep just go ahead okay it'll, it'll come back to me all right um not john snow <laughs> richard other, madden the other guy richard madden the yeah. guy who plays uh icarus yeah icarus right but go ahead Okay, what were you going to say about Icarus? Uh, well, I get there as soon as I remember his freak. Oh, Stark, that's right. What was his first name? Eddard, not Rob Eddard. Stark. Rob Stark. Yeah. Yeah, in true Rob Stark fashion, he, he pulled a fast one and got distracted and did other things and kind of messed things and up. And then just ended up dying in the end. Uh, yes, he dies in the end. Yes, yeah, Icarus. He doesn't. Uh, yes, he does. Oh, yeah, he, he flies does. into the sun, that's dude. That's right, he kills He himself. flies into he the does sun, kill bro. That's right. Yeah, Icarus. If he's not dead, I don't know what's going on. Icarus is a douche. He killed Sama Hayek. He did he kill. Did. He, she, now, listen, how could you do that? Shelma Hayek is a national treasure. She is yes. not from our na- not, not, not from our, our country, nation, yeah. not from our nation, <laughs> but, but she she's is. a national treasure. She is. She was yeah. in from Dust Till Dawn, which yes. is an awesome movie. Oh, Tony, she was in no. Dust Till Dawn. She was in Dust Till Dawn. <laughs> yeah, she was. She um, is a national treasure. She is. Uh, right. So let's talk about. What do you want to talk about first? Good or the bad? Uh, you loved it, so there's no bad I for you. Love right? it. I you said it, it was. Oh, I, you, I remember you said it was your favorite movie of all time. <laughs> I, I'll get the good out of the way first. Okay, go um, ahead. Since you clearly only have one good thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, two good things. You know, you know how some furries can't make it when they watch Utopia. They can't make it by the time they put the DVD in. Well, with Eternal, some people since it ha- since this movie has both Angela Jolie and Sama Hayek, some people can't make it before they turn it on. <laughs> that, that's all I have to say. <laughs> what? I don't. I don't know. 
Okay. <laughs> is that it? That's all that was good about it? Uh, Tony is a hater tonight, Tony, folks. Why are you today? hating? What's with uh, the hater? Uh, you drinking hater aid, Tony? Hater-aid What's going there. on? I mean, I like the costumes, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, That's a good thing. Sure. The costumes sure, yeah. look cool. Dane Whitman didn't do it for you? <laughs> I mean, well, he's okay right now. The, <laughs> the post credit scene exists. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't go over the fact that one of the characters' name is Sprite, as in Sprite Cranberry. Well, uh, that was. You oh, know, I know, I know. That's the Jack Kirby. I mean, even, even though yeah. the exposition was a little force fed. I can't really take it seriously. It was accurate, though. I mean, it was an interesting dynamic to do, or the fact but, that she's Tinkerbell to his Peter Pan. Yeah, and okay, here's the. Here, oh, she you know what? Grow up. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, yeah. but. Wow. It, well, it was sort of force fed to us in one kind of okay. one quick line. Honestly, it was. Here's yeah. the thing. They've had these names for like God knows how many years, and not once did they think of you know having aliases in public. Uh, I don't know if it mattered. I think did some. I thought some of them did have. Well, aliases. what's her name? Went as Cersei. Cersei? Yeah. Did she? She went as Cersei. Did she? Well, I mean, yeah. I think part of it too. You know, I don't know. I, I don't know that Richard Madden could walk around as like Icarus. Like, hi, I'm Icarus. I'm, I'm Icarus. here for a job interview. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they probably didn't need jobs. So, Icarus, name I a mean, time when you were. I didn't get the sense that they needed to eat. They clearly didn't. I mean, they were literally fueled by cosmic energy. They didn't need to do anything. I mean, so right. All uh, the stuff that we need, wish they I didn't, didn't have. Need I living. Yeah. All those stuff oh, I wish uh, I didn't have to do. They could. They, they could. could do. They didn't have to do. Yeah, um, to do. I think the only. I know at first it seemed a little odd to me that certain people were just sort of unfazed by what they were. But then I thought, we're also in a post-Thanos world. Yeah. People would be a lot less phased by, like, oh, by the way, I have superpowers. I'm, you know, a, yeah, you know, I'm amazed at how 10 me- years into superheroes really appearing so, on the face of the earth and doing yeah. amazing things. I, I am amazed that more people aren't panicking. You know what I mean? Like of monsters in the city. Yeah, you know? there's monsters in cities. Uh, Thanos you know, snapped someone, snapped half the population, you know, snapped them say, back. Like when, after to, Thanos in New York. Eh, well, I mean, like, to, <laughs> well, I feel like New York would be used to it. New York is that kind of place. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, I've had worse. That's where yeah, everything yeah. happens. Uh, we had the Jatari invasion. Get that deviant out of here. Oh my God! And they use it as a point of pride because they're New Yorkers. You <laughs> know, New like, York. oh, oh, we survived. Oh, you had one deviant. Oh, we survived the Jatari. Yeah. <laughs> we survived the freaking Chitauri invasion. Yeah. Yeah. There was one Eternal that I did like. Um, the guy's name was it Selma Hayek. No, well, aside, aside Selma. Well, she wasn't Eternal. She was actually Celestial. Really? Oh, yeah, she oh, was right. an actual Celestial. And well, Angel- okay. Angela Jolie hardly had any screen times or whatever. But was it Gem- was it Gemma Chan? Um, no, um, she was good. What's his name? She was good. I liked, I liked her. her. Um, he's the one with the. He, he basically what he did with his immortality is something that I would do. Uh, Go to Bollywood and start a big. Ah, oh, uh, Kingo. Yeah. Kingo. Kingo. Yeah, Kingo. Yes, Kumail Nanjiani is Kingo. He, yeah, that was pretty cool. That was yes, kind of funny. I didn't mind it. Yeah, once they introduced him and he was in a Bollywood film, I thought it was I pretty. Think, I thought it was pretty great. Yeah, I thought his comic relief was actually sort of fitting. It wasn't. It didn't yes. feel overly forced. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because let's be real. If, I mean, if I was immortal, I would do that. I'd just become a celebrity. Like, oh, this is my great grandfather, my grandfather, my yeah, father, yeah. and there's me. That was good. I like that whole explanation of yeah. like, yeah, that's my and grandpa, he, and that's yeah. my great grandpa, <laughs> and it's just like it, he's every generation. Yeah, yeah. And he's had the we same cameraman the same, for like yeah. fifty years. Yeah. Yeah, Who was great? He was that great too. That guy was pretty good. That yeah, guy he was, was yeah. good. Fantastic. Yeah, I need, I need a movie with a bunch of like the side characters just hanging out, <laughs> telling stories. <laughs> like, here's what we do: we put them all in a room, right? Yeah. And they tell each other stories, and all the stories are like we flash back to the stories happening. You know what I mean? And then like you yeah. know, it's like oh well, when I was doing this thing, so here's what happened: I was with Ant Man, yeah. and we were doing this, and then you just kind of cut into like. <laughs> Like a short of of Paul Rudd doing Ant Man stuff with that, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, that's a good like what? That's a good two hours right there. So, this movie didn't have to be two hours. That exactly. movie could be two yes. hours. This movie yes. was I, way I, long. I, I, I fully you agree know, with that. I, it didn't really bother me. I, it's funny that so many people that seemed to bother. I mean, yeah, it was a little on the long side, but I didn't feel flat out bored. Dude, by it. I, I listen I, once. I, you know, like out I mean, the I didn't think it was great, but I didn't think it was terrible. Once I got to the point to where where everything sort of revealed itself, I'm like, I was like, great. So there's got to be Let's like, get this going. There's got to be like 20 minutes left oh. in this movie. Uh, yeah. There was almost an hour left right. in the movie. Yeah, I did remember thinking it that. was very long. Okay, yeah. true story about what happened to me in theaters. I was like about to pass out, and then <laughs> well, and then they got to a part where they said Unimind, and my dad's like, Hey, look, look, Unimind, and I'm like, What the hell is a Unimind? <laughs> 
And you call and yourself every, a Marvel fan. Every, I, I any, don't know. No, any person over is. 40 listening is that's like, true, mm. yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know what a Unum is. He know calls himself a Marvel fan. Okay, from what my dad showed me, because my dad has a hero clicks of Unimine, it's supposed to be an actual thing, but they don't actually do it in the movie. Right, yeah. So mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, well, what was the point of that then? Just a little reference yeah. to... Oh, yeah. It, it's, w- it's supposed to be one of those references where you as a comic book reader would yeah. get, yeah. you know, yeah. kind of like a, ooh, I'm special, ooh. right? Like, oh, I, no one else knows what this means. Kind of like Captain Universe. Kind of like when Chris Claremont was in X3 and I was the only one that recognized him. <laughs> hey, it's Chris Claremont. I was like, is that Chris Claremont? And everyone in the theater's like, no, Sudden X Man, shut up! <laughs> yeah. Stan, let's Stan Lee, this idiot. Movie, this movie sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Which we did all think. Which towards the X Three did kind of suck. Mm. I kind of like suck. It we did. did. Suck. I, I, I like some of X Three just because oh, of how bad boy. it is. <laughs> it's one of the oh movies. man! Um, so the big, the big reveal of the big spoiler being. Uh, which we didn't get into was basically the uh, the Eternals are here mm-hmm. to we only got to the point where we said they're here to sort of make sure that humanity grows and gets bigger and that's as far as they knew as well. Right. So because Earth, as are most planets, at least planets with life on it, have an egg inside them, and that egg is a new celestial. Right. Uh. And upon its hatching, which it draws energy from the life on the planet, upon right. its hatching, they Yes, the overpopulation destroys, basically planet, fed yeah. this thing. Right. It's just which is the point. Uh yes. there was supposed to be enough life on the planet to feed this thing until it could now, uh be born, tell, destroying the planet and everything on it. Yeah, it. tell me if I'm wrong cuz I remember reading this somewhere and it's not silver age or bronze age. It, I think it came along later on. But my understanding was Galactus's function Galactus's function in the universe was literally why he ate planets was to help keep the population of Celestials down, because that's why he ate planets with life on them. Mm. That sounds noble. But that came later on. That sounds noble. I, I don't. That like, was there was a point where I was like, "Yo, let's just let the monsters, because the monsters are keeping us alive, you guys, but, yeah, <laughs> by making it so the, the the Celestial can't be born." Yeah. I mean, the part that was right, or the part that they got right in the uh, in the. Uh, the fiction was the idea that the Celestials did tinker with intelligent races. True. Mm-hmm. That was the point of the original Jack Kirby run. Um, they did create the Deviants. They did create the Eternals. Or they tinkered with humans and made Eternals and Deviants, I believe, if I remember correctly. So, in comics, Eternals aren't like android-ish people or synthetics like in the movie? Well, I mean, they weren't. They, it's... It's arguable whether they. I mean, were they weren't. weren't they synthetic. weren't constructs, right? They weren't they well, living they, beings, but they I, could just be manipulated. They were human, right? Humanish, I guess. Yeah. But they humanoid. Were lied, they were yeah. lied to about their origins. Right. Oh yeah, and, like, yeah. Because and, it turns out Earth isn't the first planet they've been on, and, and they yeah they had they were the cosmic power locked them into a fixed point, so they didn't age. That's what was the whole point was. Mm-hmm. Which I could buy. Um, yeah. And then every time they. Uh, had a, a celestial hatch on a planet that they were on, they would have their memories wiped. Right, and then when they, they were put on a new planet, yeah. yeah, and then they'd have their memories wiped. Which apparently with Thena, which is Angela Jolie, Angelina Jolie's character, it didn't work quite so well, and that's why. She right, was, she was having a lot of issues for yeah. a good part of the movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but here's the thing: if <laughs> the point of <coughs> the Eternals were to guide the human race, and you know, to uh-huh. basically populate the planet which is m- as much life as possible to basically feed the celestial yep. living inside of it um <laughs> you know big wars result into the deaths of millions of people and uh however that's less food the for one guy that the inventor i don't remember his name oh yeah he actually addressed that he says now wonder we weren't allowed to interfere in their wars because the wars is when the greatest innovations happen and that's true oh the the inventor yeah uh, oh yeah fast Fastus? Fast, Festus? Fastus? I, I figured it was a short for Hephaestus, Hephaestus or whatever. I think, Greek, yeah, because a lot of them Smith. had had like Greek very names, mythological yeah. names: yeah. Gilgamesh, yeah. Athena, or Athena. Athena yeah. Festus probably short for Hephaestus. Hephaestus, yeah, yeah. The Greek blacksmith, yeah. But uh, yeah, he even said that, and that's true. You know, major wars are the greatest source of innovation and 
true. humanity. It's true. I mean, how Which much how much technology did we get? A big leap forward. And... How much technology did we get out of World War II? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Jeez. yeah. Polyester. <laughs> yeah, Jeez. atom bombs. Yeah, it's little little things. All sorts of things. Yeah. And then oh, big right. things as well. well uh, rockets and jets control, and stuff. Yeah. Uh, magnetic tape recorders. Yeah. Uh, really? Jeez, yeah. Magnetic tape recorders came from World War II. Most of it came. Well, most of it came from the Germans. Actually, yeah, most oh. of them came remote from control came from the Germans. Yeah. Polyester came from the Germans. Most of which were Nazis. I mean, you're not. I know about the remote yeah. control part, though, but I didn't know about the tapes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I actually didn't know about magnetic tapes either. Okay, so this is what happened, right? Uh, right. They found out that they were actually there to uh, feed this thing that will destroy the planet. And right. they've grown, of course, to love the planet Earth because yeah. somehow we're the most terrible planet, but like the night, the best planet. I well, don't know. I kind of liked, mm-hmm. liked Selma Hayek's sort of explanation about that. She was like, Thanos snapped half the planet out of existence, and they found a way to bring everybody back and get rid of Thanos. Who does that? Yeah. And I was like, that's kind of a good we point. Are, yeah, like, these we, aren't just another planet. We usually find ourselves <laughs> as like a plucky kind of little planet, right? Yeah, like yeah. we're always the I target mean, always of something, nice. and yeah, then we're always like, ha we have too much pluck and vigor. You yeah. can't yeah. contain us. Well, but, it's always nice to think well, that thing way in fiction. <laughs> yeah. I don't, a thing I didn't like was the Deviants, how they were introduced. Oh, they're a result of the ice caps melting. I'm like... Okay, um, where were they all over the world where, you know, other mice, ice caps around the world were yeah, melting? Yeah, that, that felt a little forced. <laughs> oh, weird. and freaking... Why the, did they get frozen in the first the, place? The one deviant that ends up eating, like, what? Gilgamesh? Yeah, he ends, and he ends up... Uh, he started absorbing him, made no sense. And that he, was just he, sort he, of He ends up talking, there. and it's Bill Skarsgård voicing him, apparently? Yeah, it's because he was... Oh, that yeah. was Skarsgård? Yeah, because I saw his I name, saw his and, name like, and I was like, where, where, was, play? Where, yeah. was, where was Skarsgård at? And where was Pennywise? Yeah. 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 And yeah. I don't know, the movie framed it like, oh, he's now going to be an actual character, but no, he gets killed yeah, he off gets by... he gets sliced into his yeah, quarters. I'm like... <laughs> Yeah, okay, because was he was he was the leader that his name I don't remember what it was Crow or something. He was Crow. a leader. He was a leader. It was like K R O. He was the leader of the. It he was, was the K-R-O, leader of the yeah. Deviants, um, huh. in the comics. But yeah, I don't know. The Deviants did feel a little forced. They felt like they didn't play a big part. It, yeah. it wasn't like they and were it, basically a means to an end, really. And they, it was almost kind of like, why are they here if they're? I mean, if you want to throw them in to have some something for the Eternals to do during the second act, that's fine. Oh, mm. but you, we didn't need the thing with Crow absorbing them. I didn't get that. So yeah. that felt a little. Does Sama Hayek's character have any powers? She's a healer. She heals. She yeah. Oh, she oh yeah. Can reconstruct mind. things. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. Now. Okay, but I'm thinking about the part where she's Icarus... the cleric, dude. I think, <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking yeah. about the part where Icarus killed her. I'm like, wait, uh, could she, you know, do anything against those? No, well, she no, she died. Yeah, really. she doesn't regenerate. I'm she could have healed herself if she survived, yeah. but she just straight up got killed. Forgot, so. I totally forgot if she had powers or not. <laughs> right? Yeah, just she. That yeah. One scene. She was like the she was the uh, the leader. She was the team leader. Hey, did you know who Gilgamesh was? The guy that played Gilgamesh. You know what he's from? Yeah. Train to Busan. He is. That's yes. right. I saw him and I'm like, that that's got to be the dude from Train to Busan. I come to is find he? out, looking him up, he's actually American. But he, you know, he does acting in Korea and stuff like that. Right. Yes. And his name is the name. His name is Ma. Ma. I can't. And I'm no, sorry. His if I'm name mis- is actually. What did he go by in so, the Eternals? Don so in the Eternals, is Don Lee. Yeah, that's yeah, his. But actual like his name. given name. No, is, his given name is Don Lee. Is it? That's my understanding. Are you sure? And then when he went back to Korea, he took that name. Oh, okay. That's so he I did like that. a reverse, where I, like you yeah. know how like when Chinese right, actors right, right. hit it big, they they take up American names. Yeah, that was my reverse. understanding. Is when he, or Chinese he moved, or Asian actors. His family Asian. moved here from Korea. That happens mm-hmm. often. So you're telling me Jackie Chan? used to. Jackie Chan's real name is not Jackie Chan. It's not Probably Jackie Chan. Not, no. It's not. Bruce Lee's name was not no, Bruce Lee. Oh, obviously. Isn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bruce Bruce isn't, yeah. Definitely yeah. isn't a yeah. name. Most most. Yeah, I was gonna say so many Europeans did the same thing. I mean. Charles Bronson's name is not Charles Bronson, you what? know. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hell, Michael Ironside's name isn't Michael Ironside. It's actually like, what is his name? Fred Ironside, actually. Oh. Which, to be fair, Michael Ironside has a much Michael better Ironside ring to it. Fred, I'm Fred. <laughs> I'm Fred Ironside. Just, yeah. just doesn't hit you as hard. Right, right. All right, so this so is that happens a lot. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, so that was good. I mean, we're still talking about the good. What did you? What did you? What did um, you like about it? Tony's good was a very short list. Very short list. Um. I, I think I think the mythology of it was decent. Um, I'm not sure how it quite fits in with the Marvel as a whole. 
Mm-hmm. Um, that felt a little forced to me. There did um, seem a especially bit... post Thanos. It felt a little forced to me. There did seem to be a um, lot of weird, like the Thanos thing. I realized, like, okay, there's an explanation for that. But then, like, I did like how there's an island in the South Pacific that now looks like a Celestial's head and hand. Right. So I, I okay, hope that, I hope that shows up in later movies. Me too. That's that looks cool. cool. That looks cool. Yeah, that looks cool. <laughs> it does look great because it's coming out of the sea. Okay, but here's my thing: when that happened, right? Yeah. How does no one in the Avengers know that this is happening? There's this well, cataclysmic event. Well, to be fair, and like there's not they, many Avengers left at the at the moment. Because it, oh, so when does this movie take not, place? Not to in mention, the MCU? if you look at it in screen time, let's say Iron Man was still around. That starts happening. He's flying there. It's done before he even gets there. Do you think so? Oh yeah. Like I mean, you think talking... he, could, he he couldn't they couldn't get there in a Quinjet fast enough? You think? No. Even. <laughs> You know, even if you th- if if the fastest, you know, even the fastest jet now would take several hours to get to the other side of the yeah, planet. Yeah, okay, but we're talking about a science fiction universe. You know, okay, even the Thunderbirds. Okay, let's say the Thunderbirds from mm-hmm. 1965 were real. The Thunderbird <laughs> okay. one, it would still take 30 minutes to get to the other side of the planet, and, and that thing went like Mach 15 or some crazy thing. And you don't think that whole you think that whole fight took place in under 30 minutes? Did you? Well, if you watch the movie, I'm not talking about all... movie time. I'm talking about like in real because obviously it's not going to happen in real time. Yeah. Do tough. you think that entire battle could have taken place in 30 minutes? You mean a battle where Icarus just fights the rest? Of where the he's world. fighting 30, the rest 30 of them? 30 minutes to an then, hour tops. Yeah. And then the re, the the the, the yeah, what's it called? Yeah. The remnant shows up. Well, and, if the Avengers were still around, they'd probably be there at the last moment. It's like, hey, yeah, we're here. Yeah, they would arrive kind of after it was all dying down. I would love a They'd scene. They'd be like, who are these people? What's that yeah. mountain that, with six eyes or whatever? I would love a scene where the Avengers are in a Quinjet, and they're flying somewhere else, and they fly over like the, that, that, that weird celestial kind of sticking his head out, and they're like, huh, huh. hey, uh, that wasn't there No, no, we got to call. Right? We got to go. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, we'll come back to it. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. we don't have time. Yeah. Yeah, so... <laughs> We don't have time. It's yeah, when that all started happening, because mm. it was a global earthquake. So when it all started happening, they wouldn't even know where to go until mm. everything really started. Like this thing's coming out of the ocean. <laughs> and then, by the time they're halfway there, it's like it's all done. It's now a mountain. It's mm. all over. Okay, nothing to see here, folks. Yeah, right. Move along. They get that. Well, they didn't even get there. I would love a scene where they all get there and they're like, "Oh, nothing's happening. What is that thing?" I don't know. Anything else? Uh, no, I mean. I, you know, it, come on, man! It's your favorite movie. You said so yourself. It wasn't great. I liked it. I was entertained. Uh-huh. I, I did like the mythology behind it for the most part. Um, you know, I really liked the Cersei. Uh, what is it, her name? Gemma. 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 Gemma Chan. Chan. Yeah, she was oh, good. Yeah. Um, I liked Dane Whitman, even though he was barely in it. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so bad for him because of uh, because of Icarus. I'm like, dude, I'm like, what are you doing? That guy still, that's not fair. Yeah, that was Come back fair, to this yeah. guy. That's <laughs> messed up. If he hadn't done the bad thing, she would have totally ended up with Icarus again. Yeah, uh, yeah probably. So the only thing that saved probably, Dane yeah. Whitman from his relationship with... Uh, with Cersei is the fact that secret. Icarus is a bad guy. It's his secret that he kept. Yeah. yeah. Um, I liked I liked the costumes. I thought the costumes were great. Yeah. Except for Cersei. Cersei should, should have been more a little bit more comic accurate. Oh, from, well, none of them I wouldn't say were terribly. Yeah, comic they weren't. None of them were really well, comic they had, accurate. They, they were more. The si- yeah, but they were more single color. Oh yeah. Yeah, and also the circles were not as as complex as what they as were wearing. As... I mean, it's a Jack Kirby, so it's very simple shapes and yeah. stuff like that. Um, He's a master of design, that guy. That's true, though. It, they looked fantastic. Um, I, I thought everyone did a great job in it. I, yeah. I don't think there was one person. I don't yeah. think there was anyone I disliked in this movie. Um, uh, oh no, I do not like um, the one Eternal who has like the mass mind control powers. I drew. Oh, Drew. Yeah, the uh, the incel with mind control power. Yes, yeah. I d- like. And the kid kind of looks like an incel a little yeah. bit. Okay. And yeah, the way his speech pattern happens, and yeah, you know, like he's got like that very like I'm a lot cooler than you think I am, and you're just like, no, you're not. Hey, we are. Well, if you could control by... people's minds, you probably would think that way. We are possibly. By... Yeah. <laughs> when, you, when you can make people worship you, you probably but, would. Certainly. Wouldn't it, wouldn't an incel do that? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> there you wow. go. Wow. The youth is on my side, wow. so I made but, a compelling and, argument. And here's another thing. All right. When he, you know, because throughout the movie, it's shown that he had a semi-romantic relationship with the speedster Eternal. They were clearly attracted to each other, or had a strong connection. Yeah. To and each like other. Macari is her yeah, name. Macari. Macari, yeah, Macari. Macari, yeah. And she was cool. At the Flash. end, like I. Flash two. It, it, it's not convincing at all that they're a couple. Yeah, they didn't. There was no chemistry there. The there was no chemistry there. Ma- I didn't feel. Macari anyway. showed more emotion than 
he did, especially when he got smacked and she was screaming <laughs> because, you know, she's deaf. She's mute. Yeah, she's yeah. mute. So right. she only screamed one time, and that was when he was smacked by Icarus. Mm. Here's my question, and this, and I also have a theory that follows up this question about her, the speedster. Uh-huh. She, they were speaking in ASL, so yeah, American I didn't Sign Language. That. I did so I'm that. like, okay, so either no one thought <laughs> that they, they were speaking in ASL, ASL, or yes, they the Eternals created, created ASL. I thought about that too. I was like, did they create ASL? <laughs> That's, That's more feasible. <laughs> I, if I were the producer and I missed that, I'd be like, yes, they created ASL. You're welcome. You're welcome. They were in America <laughs> at the time, and they totally did it. Yeah, yeah. They totally made an ASL. I thought about that, too. Um, <laughs> it's entirely possible. Um, but, yeah, she was great, too. Uh, yeah, their, their romance did seem a little... I don't know, whatever. It didn't seem very genuine. We should start wrapping it up. Is there anything else we wanted to add? Oh, to we're going to talk about the bad stuff. Oh, let's talk well, about the bad stuff. I did mention bad stuff here and there, so... Uh, okay. You, you I was going to say, we kind of bounced back and forth. Yeah, Yeah, we did. So, okay, the real Deviants quick. felt a little forced. I, or at least forced. the complexity of him evolving I, didn't, didn't really have much of a point other than to kill certain characters. Yeah. This The movie was long. Uh, it dragged a lot in the middle to me. Did it seemed know? like yes, it, it seemed like to get where you wanted it to be, you didn't have to... Ooh, excuse me, you'd have to take that long yeah. to get where they wanted the story to go. Yeah. It didn't have to be a two-hour movie. Again, th- that they had to collect everybody. You could have <laughs> shaved 30 minutes right off this collect movie. Collect everybody and back that's, up. You could do that still. I'm, what I'm saying is there's there's parts of this movie you could have completely shaved off. Yeah. Yes. Probably yeah, saved 30 I mean, to 40 minutes of the movie. I think they showed a lot of that to show that they had ties to the planet and to a life that they had made here. I don't... I. <laughs> Well, I'm going to go on a limb. I might be by myself on this one. Well, again, I don't think Cersei likes Black Knight. I don't mm. think she likes him very much. Well, not that doesn't like him. I don't think she likes him as much as he likes her. Well, okay. That, obviously. That's, yeah. I'm pretty convinced that he she doesn't like him as much as he likes her. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> oh, speaking of Black Knight, the post credit scene. Uh, yeah. Dane sees the sword. Uh, hears the voice. Not ready for that. And it turns out that's supposed to be Blade. Yeah. I don't yeah. understand why Blade would be there. I don't either. So it's Black Knight going to be know, the Blade and, movie? You know, and honestly, before before, before Wesley Snipes made Blade, Blade was such a minor secondary character. He's not even in the Marvel Omnibus universe. Is He's not even in the Guide to the Marvel Universe. Really? What? At all. Yeah. He's wow. Not, yeah. Oh, my God. Even that's now? How, that's how much. Oh, he is now. But, I mean, the old one that came out oh, in the 80s, it's yeah. incredibly exhaustive. He's not even in it. Right. So, you know, <laughs> it's like that's how minor of a character he was way back then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. You know, if Blade ever comes to the, well, he is coming to the MCU. Yeah. You know what his costume should be? It should be green. And, you know, his, his pants. Oh, his be, green and brown. Yeah. Green and brown. I think black I black I think I prefer the Wesley Snipes no. version. With like <laughs> we should, we the should, black and we the should vivid. move on from the Wesley Snipes one and get the classic Blade. <laughs> No. The corny looking No, one. thank you. Corny Blade. I'm sure what's his name would pre- appreciate Marisha. What is it? Mer- the, the actor who plays oh, Blade? Oh, uh, Marsal Ali. Marsal Ali. Yeah. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. Uh, I don't. Nice. I think someone thought they were. You know were... who the best Blade on television was? Oh, that's. Sticky, Sticky Fingers. Fingers. The best Blade on best television. Best Blade on television. Yeah. <laughs> I never really saw that show. Either did I. Yeah, I didn't either. <laughs> we just had he a was friend the, who loved Blade, yeah. and we would just wind him up. by He hated He, he hated, hated, he hated show. the TV show. And we would say, but he was the best Blade on television, because nobody the, else yeah. played Blade on television. He was the only Blade on television, yeah. 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 Um, I didn't like that someone thought they were so clever with all the <laughs> Game of Thrones references. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, uh, I, I, I get, you, seriously. Like, I get, like, John, I get, like, Icarus and Dane would meet at some point, because they're obviously one was married to the young lady, and the other one was currently dating her. I get that they would meet. Young, she's like 7,000 years old. Well, you Even know what older, I mean. What, uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> the old lady. The, the, old lady. <laughs> the ancient lady. Um, like, but yeah, there was like these little digs and references. They were very Game of thrones and I was just like, Ugh, someone thought they were <laughs> Come terribly Come on, this is, this is a Marvel movie that's meant for kids, and you know, kids watch Game of Thrones. Kids watch Game of Thrones. Kids, <laughs> kids love, Game, 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 kids of love <laughs> Game of Thrones. Yes, they do. For real. <laughs> kids watch kids Game of Thrones. I, I know... I know kids that are. It's, it's, it's like when I would still be in middle nerd. school, kids would watch True Blood and yeah. Oh boy, <laughs> that's very adult. Okay, honestly, True Blood struck me as a show that was made for kids, but clearly was not. Kid so it's, it's it's a more adult it WB just, show. It was, just it was dumb. More, yeah, it was dumb. CW, CW, CW melodrama, yeah. but very adult. 
Yeah. yeah. Much more adult. All the stuff that the CW can't do on the CW, yeah. they did on HBO. All okay. Right. Uh, so just as a wrap up, yeah. I thought the movie as a whole was just okay. Everyone was great in it. I loved Kumail Nanjani. I thought he was awesome. Yeah, I did like the fact that everyone just kind of stuck to their guns in what they believed, right? Like you thought that yeah. Kingo would come back for yeah, the end yeah. fight, and he did not. And yeah, I'm like, was, yeah, he made a he's choice. Like, nah, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, he made a choice. I, I was so sure he was going to come back yeah. in like the last fight, maybe make like a last minute save. Like, bah, bah, bah. It's me. And he did not do he that, and not. I'm like, okay, I can appreciate Gilgamesh that. Gilgamesh didn't to come the guns. back. Oh, wait, he no, died. Gilgamesh he, straight up dead, died. bro. Yeah, he died. He's straight up gone. <laughs> He's straight up dead zoned. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I like that bit. But honestly, all in all, the movie was just okay. I think it dragged a lot in the middle. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. think it needed to be two and some odd hours. Yeah, two hours and 20 minutes, something like yeah, that. Yeah, I think oh, we could have told a story. Exposition. Yeah, uh, so much exposition. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, it ends on a cliffhanger for Eternals 2. Which is probably not going to happen because of the box office. Yeah, uh, I doubt that. Marvel, they got so much. Disney and Marvel have so much clout. It's well, okay. They were going to find us guilty anyway. At the same time, like, it's... <laughs> right? It's like, I'm going to analyze your memories and then... From that, I'll decide whether or not they deserve to live. I'm like, oh, we're screwed. <laughs> we're yeah. screwed. I mean, we're the worst. We're terrible. We're the worst. So I, which, I, yeah, I watched 10 minutes of your memories, which, and they're uh, fighting over skin color. So which, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm going to yeah, go yeah, ahead yeah, and yeah, just yeah. like right. nix the planet if that's right. cool. Okay. Well, uh, Although if in true MCU fashion, they'll probably send Galactus to destroy the planet. That's where Galactus yes, will come in. Yes, I want to see, oh, I want, fantastic I want, I want see a good Galactus. Who is not a celestial? No. He's, he's a planet eater. Well, no, he's part of the. Uh, uh, I always forget. <sighs> anyway, but my my okay to wrap things up a little bit. My fu- my predictions for how this will go for the future of the Eternals is there won't be Eternals two, but they're gonna like appear in other movies. Like I'm pretty sure Cersei and Star Fox are gonna be Avengers eventually. Yeah, because Star Fox was an Avenger. Uh, that's and right. Yeah, I don't expect any other Eternal um, movies, but I do expect you know them like, there, hey, you remember, you remember me? I was in that one movie with Angela Jolie and Sam Hayek. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm th- Harry Styles. <laughs> Oh, it's Harry Styles, you guys. Well, maybe they'll be part of Guardians of the Galaxy. Maybe that's. I could see that happening. Yeah, yeah. it's more space themed, so yeah. maybe even like the Thor, the the current Thor stuff, where he's kind of in space at the moment. Yeah. Um. Anyway, okay. So rating. We we've, we've talked. We've gone on a lot. We've droned on long enough about Eternals. Rating out of four stars, gentlemen, please. Two point five. Well, okay. Two point five. Point five. Wow. He really. That's the lowest like score movie. I think you've ever given. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> He yeah, ends yeah. up liking some of the stuff that we dislike. He's yeah, like, yeah. two and a half, three stars. <laughs> We're um, like one. Yeah. Tony's like, three stars. Three uh, out of four? Gosh, I would say I would say maybe a star and a half, two stars. Two stars. Two stars. I say two stars. Solid I think two. I think the cast was solid. I think there was a lot there to enjoy, but it was so far apart between all the dragging in the middle and <laughs> I, I I I like when she turned the bus to flower petals. That was cool. Yeah, that was cool. And my first thought was like, what about the poor driver? And then you see him like coming that's out of the dude, flower petals. That's what I thought too. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, where's the driver? <laughs> yeah, and he yeah. comes out of the flower. Yeah, he comes out of the flower. I was like, oh, thank okay, you. Okay, yeah. Ooh, that would have been so. Oh, that bad. poor bastard. Yeah. Now I want the rest <laughs> of the movie to be about the family finding out that their dad was turned into flower petals while driving at work. <laughs> yeah. And then and then he was killed. I think so because he so. was turned yeah. into flower petals into along flower with the bus. Petals. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. That's our, all right. That's there our we go. Rating. That's our review of Eternals. Yes. Um, um, if you liked the movie, yeah, more than we did, or if you have a differing opinion or the yeah. same opinion, let us know in the comments below. Yeah. Uh, also hit the like and or dislike, depends on how you feel, and the subscribe button so that you get new videos whenever they become available. Yep. Uh, yep. Plugs. Yep. Hair plugs. Oh. Yep. All our plugs can be found in the links at the bottom. We're not going to plug on the show anymore. Yep. Oh. We're going to get the heck out of here. Okay. Yep. <laughs> All right. You I can see. also find a link to our Patreon down below. Is is Real quick. Yeah. This might be the last plug, depending on your answer. Okay. okay? Is Tony's YouTube on there? Titan Toko take no, the on that. No, no, my, uh, well, my main YouTube his channel. Main, oh, yeah, his yeah, own you, personal you, YouTube channel. I, it can be. So I... F- I, it came up it, on my recommended because I because oh nice. it came up on my recommended and I watched yes. them and they are they're pretty funny guys. Okay, which, which, so which, which that'll be oh, down we'll below for this later. video. I saw a few. I watched a few of them. I'll, I'll I even be down even below. even the most recent one, Anthony. <laughs> 
Even the most recent Anthony one. Anthony Octavius Sarazawa. <laughs> <laughs> we need to talk after this after this young man. The link uh, for that will be below as well because uh, I'll make sure it's on there. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll add that so we don't have to talk about it. I just want to make sure that that's on there because I found it, and I did find it terribly entertaining. So uh, there is that. Okay. So there, uh, nice. Anyway, guys, uh, again, uh, like and subscribe or dislike and subscribe, whatever you want to do, and we'll see you guys next week. Welcome to Costco. I, I love, love you. you.